What are you guys building? A bar. <laughs> What's it called? Okay. Do you live in Washington, D.C. or the Petworth neighborhood? Ever wondered what's going on in this building behind me? Well, today, I'll give you a sneak peek inside. It's Max Major, and this is episode 135 of the vlog. Right now, I am standing outside of Homestead here in Washington, D.C. It is a bar and restaurant that I'm opening up with a couple of friends of mine. A lot of people have been asking how the project's going. A lot of people who live in the neighborhood have been wondering what the heck all this construction is. Today, we're gonna give you a tour around inside. What Troy? Awesome bar right here, baby. It's <laughs> <laughs> my other partner, Nick. What's up, guys? How you doing? So the first thing you'll notice driving through this neighborhood is that it is literally booming. Across the street, there is a brand new multi-use building, Safeway, retail on the first floor, awesome condos and apartments above, brand new apartment building right here. This side of the street is mostly old townhouses and row homes, many of which have already been converted into local businesses, like this cool coffee shop right here, Qualia. Now, the first thing you'll notice about Homestead is that we're not just installing a bar into an existing row home. This is a full-on renovation. This entire place has been gutted from the ground up. Let's get inside and have a look. Holy cow! What is that gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hung from the wall right there. <laughs> so Nick is the owner and operator of a very successful bar in Adams Morgan called The Blaggard, and he is taking the lead on this project and is really going to be managing both the construction right now, but the operations once the place gets open. And the attention to detail in here is just insane. You will notice reclaimed everything here. But the door will be right here. Right. It'll actually open this way. So as you come in, greeted by this bar here, straight back will be seating, full-blown restaurant, open format kitchen. So the cool thing is that this wall is the building next to us, and this wall is the other building next to us. You getting excited? It's gonna be awesome. This is exactly what that work needs. So Nick, talk about what this like sort of mezzanine floor is gonna be. What it offers us is like a, two things. An opportunity to bring traffic off the street, directly upstairs without interfering with the first floor. As well as it gives us an overflow dining experience around the bar. And in addition to that, we get a free More outside a seating? Oh! Front balcony. Yes! Uh, you look up here, you see some old joist hangers. Those supported the original floor. Yeah. I like the two-tone brick. Yeah. yeah, you can't make that. That just that was no. <laughs> that's just chance. And when was this built? Uh, 1908. Wow. Okay, so that's the main floor, but you have to see upstairs. This is what's going to blow you away. Whoa! 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 This whole bar is built out of the roof, the original roof to the building. No way. Wow, look at the way that wood is treated up there. That looks awesome. We cannot wait to open the doors to this place for, for the community. I mean, this is what this neighborhood needs. Absolutely. It's super exciting. So from this floor, we can walk straight out. That's right, straight out. It looks so awesome, like looking through the glass and seeing all the indoor lighting. What a view, right? Yeah, Earth. talk about the menu a little bit. What's happening with the food? What's the plan? Uh, but the concept will be contemporary American. And, uh, a lot of local stuff. A lot of local sourced, as farm to table as we can. Uh, Some veggies growing right here on this roof. Right here on this roof. Nice. Petworth produce. So, most important question. When are we gonna open? Uh, well, we want to open as quickly as possible. <laughs> the goal is to open in the, in the month of December, hopefully at the cool. beginning of the month. All right, so as it goes with any project, I mean, there are always delays. There are a million moving pieces to this thing right now, but Nick is literally here around the clock um, and we are in good hands and so is the neighborhood, but uh, really stoked to share this with you guys.
If you want more real-time updates on the construction and the progress here at Homestead, check us out on Instagram and Twitter, homestead underscore DC.